So here's the situation. Uh, you bought a Joey Joe Bags Gen 3 from Ben Ben, and it's not on the most current firmware. You want to update that firmware. The process for updating that firmware involves you emailing Ben Ben with uh, proof of purchase and uh, your Joey's unique ID code, and he'll get back to you eventually with an update key. Uh, in my particular case, I'm tired of waiting. It's been it's been quite a while. You can see December 20th, I emailed him in November. He still hasn't gotten back to me. Uh, this is not the first time I've emailed him either. So let's take matters into our own hands here. Uh, I Apparently, I'm not the only one with this issue. Uh, several people have had issues just trying to get in contact with Ben Ben. So here's what we're going to do. Um, do this. Oh my goodness. So if we go to my buddy HDR's GitHub profile here, check out his repositories, we'll see this one right here, this Joey Brute Forcer. This is what we want. You can use this. All we want is the readme.py. Not quite what I wanted, but I'll take it. I'm going to go ahead and save that on my SD card here. And we'll go back to the instructions here. So how this works, the Joey unlock key is just eight digits. Uh, the Joey software itself just sends those eight digits to the Joey, and then the Joey will respond with either, yes, this is a good key, or no, this is not a good key. So how this software works is it literally just sends every possible key to the Joey until the Joey replies with, yes, thank you for entering the key. As you can see, the estimated max time to crack is 14 to 15 days. There are a lot of different possible keys. So if you're going to go ahead and embark on this journey here, you'll want to get a dedicated machine set up where you could just literally sit it and let it run through these keys for maximum two weeks. Um, probability being what it is, it probably will only take about a week. Some of you, you know, might take eight days. Some of you might take six days. Some of you, you might get it in a few hours here. I don't know. That's just how it works. So what we need to do, we need to generate the word list here. So in this particular case, because there are so many lines, it is literally a 36 gigabyte file. Now, in the name of, or because I want to try and save time here, I did already go ahead and generate that file. Um, mine shows up as 38.7 gigabytes, but that's that's fine. Welcome back to that. This is a fresh install of Ubuntu on this machine, so we'll just try and walk through it from the beginning. This does work on um, uh, Windows as well, but I couldn't get it to work, so I just went to Ubuntu here. Anything that can run Python should be able to do this. So we want to use the application Crunch, which is probably not even installed. So let's try and install it. Thankfully, we could just run a sudo apt install crunch. This particular version of Ubuntu, I'm running 19.10 here. This is just a fresh install for the purpose of running this uh, brute forcer. So what we want to do, um, we want to generate this word list here. Now, you could just copy paste this entire thing in here and let it go. If you do that, it'll tell you this is going to be a big file and it'll start going on that. But I'm not going to let that run because it's going to take a few hours and I already have the word list generated. You can try and save yourself some time by generating some smaller word lists, one with just the alpha keys, one with just the number keys, and those word lists are quite a bit smaller. I closed out of file here. So if we 
take a look at this one. Yeah, this one's just the number word list. And that's only 900 megabytes. This one is just the alpha word list. This one's only 15 megabytes. That's even quicker to run through. So once you've got the word list generated, we need to go ahead and plug in our GUI. And from here, it's not going to be unplugged until we got our key. All right, it's plugged in. And you'll probably want to download the, um, the actual software, make sure it works. So in my case, I'm going to try and run this. Oh, shoot. We want to run this with Python. I think it's just dash version. But we want Python 3. I don't know what the hell I'm doing with Python. I avoid it like the plague. It's probably two dashes, huh? Oh, yeah, two dashes or a capital B. So this is a fresh install so of the newest version. So it makes sense that I have a pretty new version of Python. So what we want to do is run the Joey Jobag script. And so here we go. We have an error, no module named Tkinter. And um, if I recall correctly, this is a uh, USB interfacing module for Python. So let's figure out how to install this bad boy. If I recall correctly, it's just as easy as um, that, but probably not. Let's do, if I recall correctly, we need to do Python setup tools. Oh, that's super old version. That might not be helpful. Ah, screw it. Let's read it anyway. Python 3TK. Maybe it's just that easy. Oh, what do you know? It is. We could have just done that. Um, Forgive all my typos. This is a Surface Pro 2 that I'm working off of, and for those who aren't familiar, the keyboard is a little bit uh, difficult to use sometimes. No module named USB. Better. Now we need libUSB, I believe it is. And this one I don't remember how to install at all. Hi, USB. Okay, let's click on that too. Oh yeah, I remember doing this now. Last time I installed this, I had to download it. And I'm just going to drop it in here on my SD card. So we'll run Python 3 setup.py. Oh, and we have to do dash install, don't we? Let's see. Jesus. Build and then install. Okay probably already built, but we'll 
build it again. Install. Probably need a sudo for that, yeah. There we go. Now, let's try it one more time. It should pop up or not. Let's run that with that. There we go. IO error. What the hell? Let's unplug it, plug it back in. Well, shoot. I'm at a loss here. Let's restart. I will be right back. So bear with me guys. I panicked a little because I forgot to stop the screen recording, but it looks like we're good. So I'll go ahead and continue here. I don't know why I'm getting an IO error. So let's try again after rebooting. Access denied. Pseudo. Gen 3 is a work in progress. IO error. Same thing. Okay, well, maybe this is a problem with the Benven software. We'll try the actual script itself because the script will error out if it can't communicate. So I'm pretty sure I already downloaded it and copied it. Uh, where did I save it? Is it in my documents? I remember saving it. We were here. Oh, I already saved it straight here. Okay, so once you've got the uh, Python script downloaded, you also need to generate that word list, which I already generated because I don't want to spend an hour doing that. Uh, and my word list is this one right here. We're just going to cut and paste that. And we'll rename that to Joey List. And then from here, it's just the matter of running the script. And that should error out because I have no Joey plugged in right now. So let me go ahead and plug in my Joey. Try it again. And here's the part where we wait. I believe it's working. Um, actually, before I let this continue, I'm actually going to interrupt that power cycle my Joey and we're going to go into the old version of the script just to double check that it's working. So we're probably good. Access denied, insufficient permissions, so we do need to run that sudo. Helps if you put in your correct password. There we go. So yeah, this is what it does. So it just goes through and tests each number individually. It literally takes twice as long if it has to write out to the console everything that it's testing. So I'm just running this script to know that it works. Now that I know that it works, I'm going to kill it. I'm going to power cycle my Joey again one more time, just in case. And start this again. And at this point, it's literally a waiting game. So it is December 20th, and I will report back when it's done. Um, but if you're going to leave your computer running, there are a few things you need to make sure you do. If you're using a fresh install of Ubuntu like me, you're going to want to go into the power settings and oops, make it so your computer does not automatically shut off. It's very very helpful if your computer doesn't shut off. Uh, otherwise, I have my screen set to never blank. 
uh, it shouldn't really make a difference and I'm going to just drop the brightness down so that I don't have to stare at it like I said this is Surface Pro 2 it's got two batteries in it so I'm really not concerned if it accidentally gets unplugged it should be good to go for quite a while but otherwise now we just wait so uh, I'll be back in just a second for you guys but for me it's probably gonna be a week or so right so we're back and Based on the time of this video, I was quite frankly considering putting it off, but you and I both know that we have nothing, or that I have nothing better to do. Um, the heck is this? Whatever. Uh, so, it looks like this script finished. It actually finished sometime this morning, and I wasn't, I mean, sometime at before I got up, so I don't know exactly when it finished. I did end up starting my computer uh, turning this computer on, you know, a few hours before I started actually running the brute forcing. And then I ran this uptime command when I got up this morning. So it took somewhere between 10 days and nine days. And yeah, you can see it's been a little while since I actually had the chance to start working on this video, but you know, I figured my work probably didn't want me to call in anyway. So what happened now that it's done you can see all it output was uh, key found outputting to key.txt and that key.txt file is in the exact same directory as my joey list and even the script itself that was running and that key.txt looks exactly like this so what i'm gonna do because i the joey software doesn't work on this computer and i just cannot be fucked to get it working um, actually what happened is Python the Joey software if you're not using a compiled version it requires a specific version of Python and I don't remember the command to see what version this oh there it is, this is using, yeah this is using 3.7.5 apparently it requires like 3.4 or something or else it won't work and that explains the errors that I was getting whenever I tried it but it's working perfectly on my Windows computer, so we'll just move on over to that. I'm going to go ahead and unplug my Joey, um, save my key, but it's on stream, so hopefully you can see it. Uh, but I did take a picture earlier, so I will be back in just a second. Let me go ahead and swap computers. All right, so I'm on my Windows computer now. Uh, I have... It's my preferred operating system for what I do most of the time for the applications that I run. Uh, don't really want to get into it. Not really the point of this video. Uh, but regardless, right here I have... Go ahead and plug in my Joey. Hopefully the feedback wasn't terrible. I'm going to go ahead and mute that just in case. Okay. I'll fire up the software here and we have right so we got the software this software that I'm using is actually software compiled by HDR instead of uh, Ben Ven software there are a few small tweaks to HDR software uh, namely run Joey or Ben Ven software you can probably figure out what's going on here um, namely the directory is significantly less cluttered uh, but it also doesn't require 100.dll uh, which you google it you'll get a um, you'll get one of these VC redist install it it'll work for you you'll be fine pretty sure it's the 32-bit version but I don't really want to fuck with it because We'll use HDR software. I know that works. So, reader, because I already have the drivers installed. Let's try my update key. And I just got to reference my other computer here. Give me one second. So that was D68C. Oops. Actually, before I even try that, let's just do bad key for example so if we do the key that I just generated which was d68c 
682. Unlocked my Joey. That worked. And to test it out, let's go ahead and uh, update firmware. Maybe. There it goes. Sorry, my computer is running amazingly slow because of this recording. Hopefully it's not lagging too bad. But you will have to go into the Benven software for the firm. File size correct. Uh-oh. It's probably not good. It does not appear to be doing anything. Let's try... Try Benven software. Oh wait. I don't have the stupid thing here. These are the type of videos you guys come for. You and I both know it. Right. So this is just a fresh download from Benven's site, the 3.36 version. And quite frankly, I might be doing it the wrong way. I, I recall him saying something about the update firmware legacy mode or whatever it is. Yeah, that's not doing anything. And just this should work now, I hope. Still recognizes my device. Wait, is that a different hardware ID? I thought it ended. Oh wait, yeah, no, that's the same hardware ID. My other one ends in a different, I'm sorry. Oops. So upon reviewing the footage and then just opening the software again, I realized I made a really dumb mistake. I was getting an error, but it did still update. So I guess if you get that error, just leave it alone, let it do its thing. You know, give it a couple minutes and then reboot the software, power cycle the device, other way around, power cycle the device, then reboot the software, and, you know, it should work. Uh, so, yeah, I guess that's that. I did go ahead and email Ben Ben anyway, because that error is still kind of sketchy, um, but I seriously doubt I'll hear back from him, because I emailed him about this update key over a month ago, and I still haven't heard back about that. And I emailed him about another update key back in January of 2018. And it took him until February just to get back to me. And even then, he still didn't give me a key. So, yeah, that's a little bit ridiculous. You guys have any... Oh, I suppose I can talk about the software a little bit. Um, so right now, it is a brute forcing program. It literally just runs through an entire list of keys until it finds the key that works for your Joey. Uh, obviously it's going to take longer for some people, not as long for others. Mine took about 10 days. Super fun. Um, 14 days, just given the speed of how, how, how quick the brute forcer runs and just how many keys, how many possibilities there are. Um, someone hopefully way smarter than me is working on a uh, working on how to figure out how Benven actually calculates this key in the first place so that we don't have to go through this whole brute forcer we could just you know plug in your hardware device IDs right here and then spit out this key right here uh, that should take all of 30 seconds, I guess, depending on how he calculates it. But, I mean, the Joey has to check it, and it only checks it in, like, half a second. So it's got to be able to be calculated pretty quick. 
I just don't know the algorithm to turn this into this. Uh, if anyone has any ideas, I'd love to give it a shot. But until then, brute forcing is what we have. Thanks for watching. Have an excellent, excellent 2020.